in loving memory of Andy Irons. We are just about to see one of the heats of the year on paper. Let's hope it lives up to the hype. 11-time world champ Kelly Slater up against current Jeep Ratings leader Mick Fanning. Celebrated as the best out here. Here goes Fanning. A late drop into this bomb. Can he find his way through the pit? He gets eaten alive inside that. To beat, uh, but Kelly and Mick are going to give it their all. All out there now, taking off deep in the barrel. This is John John Florence. And he was way deep on that occasion. These guys are a little bit ahead of me, and I depend on them. And uh, I'm focused on my, my job, and uh, I like this fight. Not finals day, but like when it picks up, you know. But it's all going to happen tomorrow, but still amazing action unfolding here in the lineup of Pipers. John John Florence, the 23 year old, finds his way through the first successful ride of this round four heat. Well, I love the fact that in the lineup right now, Kelly, Mick, and John John, we're going to see all three of these some tens. Well, Mick Fanning with priority, having a look at this one. He has his eye on the back door. He fades the takeoff. Successful with the drop. Pulls in. Still going. He gets spat out of the tube. And he is going to kick out and probably wear a good size backdoor wave on the head here. Oh he God. might just sneak under it. As we see some movement at the takeoff zone, it's Kelly Slater grabbing rail. A clean entry. This thing holding open. It spits. And out comes the 11 time world champion. Finds a big rebound. Doesn't complete the turn, but it won't matter. He'd already collected a number of points. And now behind him, John John Florence pulls in. No hands off the takeoff. This wave tapering off and the exit not big enough for the lanky natural footer to find his way through. And Mick Fanning now, he has a look at this one. Stalling, not a lot of cover for Mick. He's going to kick out. This will be a throwaway. As second priority, he's going to use it to keep Kelly Slater off this wave. He grabs the wall. He pulls in. He's coming out. He likes it. And he is looking to back up a 6.67. We're still waiting on numbers to drop for John John Florence, who is in the tube. This is a beautiful looking wave. It unloads. Oh, yeah. And out he pops. Well, this heat, it's living up to expectations. <laughs> Ross, your skin is uh, starting to. <laughs> He was plowing the water. As we see Kelly Slater now with eyes for backdoor, draws off the bottom. This wave is bowling out and Slater rides over the foam ball, finds the exit and gets out of there before the thing shuts down. What a heat we have on our hands. No losers in this round. Two of the greatest pipe specialists ever. Mick Fanning had this wave during the break. Wow. So just a medium-sized uh, wave there for Mick Fanning, but I love how deep he was in the barrel there. He was on the foam ball. Right here, he is jockeying on his board, getting bumped around. You lose a lot of control. And He's going to get into it. He swings. Critical takeoff. He falls into the pit. He's going to get spat out. There he is. <laughs> Slater in the final 10 seconds. Oh, my gosh. Kicks off a bomb. He is chasing a 9.14. Well, Kelly got an 8.3 on his last ride. An 8.3, not enough. He was chasing a 9-point ride, 9.17. Just one judge giving him the nod. And Mick Fanning, job done. He's into the quarterfinals. That doesn't solidify a world title, but the pressure is now going to be on Adriano de Souza going into his round four clash. What a privilege to call that heat with you, Ronnie. Commendable performance there from all the boys in the water.